In this video, I'll cover the question, can you teach yourself Wing Chun? Don't miss out on another lesson. Subscribe to the Adam Willis channel. You know, can I learn Wing Chun myself? Can I teach myself Wing Chun? Don't fool yourself. You need a teacher. You need someone that is, um, you know, dedicated their, you know, dedicated their time to Wing Chun and knows what they're doing and can detail things out for you. Because it is these details that become your standards or your foundations. The beginnings of things are really so, so important. So pick a teacher. Pick one person that is, can, can mentor you, that can be on your side, that can help you uh, get better. Uh, now, there are courses online that you can take, and are these online courses bad? No, not at all. With the technology that's out there, we can learn a lot more than we could when I started 24, 25 years ago. Uh, online, that is. So, you know, for me, I went to a teacher and found my Sifu, and uh, it's been the best experience for me because um, whatever issues I'm having as I'm training, as I'm trying to get better, he's always been there to say, oh, this is what, this is what you need to tweak a little bit. And having someone, the kind of knowledge that he has, um, you know, help, has helped me to get over little hurdles and prioritize what's important in the whole scheme of things. Beginners have no idea what's important. Um, as you're learning, even in the first couple of years, even few years, you start to get distracted as to what's important and what's not. Um, so if you're trying to teach yourself Wing Chun uh, online, um, you're, you just have no path. You have no true path as to where to head. Biggest thing is you're learning from somebody, whoever that is, you want someone to be able to critique you and tell you, no, that's not, exactly what it should be. You know, yeah, you see it, but um, we've got to build awareness within ourselves. A student only starts with a certain amount of bandwidth. And what do I mean by bandwidth? I mean a certain amount of awareness of all the things that they're doing. They're not aware of where they're, exactly their elbow is, where their, where their um, posture is, um, you know, where they should be headed. They're not aware of all these things that a good teacher or a good Wing Chun Sifu knows and can help them with um, because these are the priorities that they can help, help with. So when you don't have a certain amount of bandwidth, it's got to grow, it's got to grow, and it takes time. And I'm talking, it takes a while for you to put the work in, right? When you put the work in, that's how the bandwidth grows and your awareness grows of all these little things to correct. And that's what I'm talking about, why you really need a teacher. You need, uh, and someone that has put their time in as well. Now, do they need to have a famous Sifu? No, of course not. It's not a matter of fame. It's a matter of each of the people down the line in that lineage, whatever they are, how much work have they put in to their own Wing Chun. And that is really what makes someone someone really, really good. So can you learn Wing Chun yourself? Can you teach yourself Wing Chun? Not exactly. You need a teacher and you need to trust that teacher. You need to develop a relationship with a specific person. Um, when the question comes, you know, can you teach yourself Wing Chun? I'm talking about those that are just going on YouTube, looking at all kinds of different things, trying to learn from there only, all right? I'm not saying YouTube is bad for those in the beginning, but when you, if you truly wanna learn, and here's the thing, pick a path and stick to that path and, and don't be distracted by all the shiny things that are out there. There's a lot of different people that do a lot of different things. Um, and even if it's called Wing Chun, it may not be the same thing. Uh, so pick a path, pick a teacher, 
get good at that one thing. And when you can get good at that one thing, that really, really opens the door for, for you. Because then you, you have these fundamentals and you have these, um, the appreciation of what's really, really important and priority to that one teacher that you've chosen. Issue is most people, most students, most pe people in the world are distracted by all the fancy things. The warrior is the average man with laser-like focus. It's not the average person with distraction and you see something shiny and say, oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool, oh, that's cool. I'm not saying be aware of what, not be aware of what what's out there. That's not my point. But my point is pick a path, stick to that path, get extremely good at that path as long as you, as long as, as you initially believe in that path. And um, stick to your guns, be focused and don't let anything distract you. Okay. So no, you cannot teach yourself Wing Chun. Not only. You need someone to help you, someone that's on your side, someone that will take you to higher levels because they put in the work. Uh, so uh, don't cheat yourself by trying to, literally cheat yourself by trying to learn from a million different places. Hope this helps. Introducing my Wing Chun Distance Learning Program at WingChunLessons.com. Designed to help those with a sincere interest to learn Wing Chun at home. Not everyone has access to a Wing Chun school or local instructor where they live. This Wing Chun home training program also gives you a chance to become certified and recognized under the Dragon Institute ranking system, which is a necessary first step for those who wish to become certified Wing Chun instructors. Read more at wingchunlessons.com.